Hello! Navy Chief here. In this video I am sharing my 7 best methods for killing larger snakes in order to gain mass quickly. Be sure to stick around because at the end I'm going to give you an extra bonus tip on how to gain mass passively and safely. Number 1. The Cut Off Practice cutting them off. Smaller snakes have a much tighter turn radius. Take advantage of this by forcing the larger snake to turn away from you, but then you rush around his head and cut off his escape. This takes lots of practice to get good at it. Here are some examples of this method in use. You can also use this method versus smaller snakes, if you time it right. Number 2. Chicken. Very similar to the cutoff, this one is usually a quick reaction type of win, but with practice and reaction time training, you'll be able to pull this off. Basically, when you find yourself face to face with a large snake, you need to quickly move to one side or the other in order to cut them off and make them run into you. The chicken method and the cutoff method are my two most common methods for taking out large snakes and gaining mass. Here are some examples of this method in use. Number 3. The Trap If you are somewhat long and want to surround a larger snake, you have to first act like you're not interested in him. If you happen to see that his whole body is in a small enough area to be able to surround him, get out away from him to start your attack. Go wide so he doesn't see it coming. Then quickly get in and rush around him. This takes good timing so that his head is already headed back toward your trap by the time he realizes what you're doing. It also helps if you can combine the river run method with this tactic, as the additional speed helps significantly. Number 4. The Squeeze. Hang out in a congested area that is large snakes. Watch your back to be sure you're not going to be corralled. Then watch for a large snake to come your way. If he tries to squeeze between you and another snake, quickly cut off his path and wait for him to run out of room. This takes patience and the ability to spot the opportunity, but the gains from this method are well worth the wait. Number 5. River Run. Find a large snake that is somewhere close to the water, but not using it. Try to pick up an overwatch, Juju, if possible, before your attack. This will increase your viewing area, allowing you to see what's coming from further away. Then go over the water, get good and wet, to increase your speed, then quickly come in and surround the larger snake. Because of the water, you'll be faster and will be able to race around him. Just be sure his whole body is in a smaller area. If he's strung out in a straight line, you'll never surround him unless your added speed is enough to corner him. 
the river run method is a very good method to use in conjunction with other methods because of the extra speed you get from it. Number 6. Half Trap With a less experienced snake, you can trap them without completely surrounding them. Not sure why they tend to go in a circle, like this instead of following their own body, to get away from you, but I've successfully done this multiple times. It's a good option to keep in mind. Number 7. The Swarm Get on a team with other snakes. When you see a large snake you want to go after, don't all go around him in the same direction. Instead, go around the large snake in opposite directions. With a little practice, your team will be able to quickly, and cohesively, take out larger snakes, to build your mass quickly. As promised, here is the extra bonus tip for you. You don't always have to cause the crash to get the reward. An alternate way to play safe is to stay in a crowded area, constantly looping in and over yourself, but staying close enough to others so you don't get trapped. As you do this, keep an eye out for snakes that crash, so you can quickly rush in and steal the reward. But you need to do this safely because others will be doing the same thing. Alternatively, when you see a snake crash, you know other snakes will be rushing in to steal the food. That's when you could rush around them and trap them. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are able to gain some helpful information from this to help you. If you liked this video and would like to see more, then you can subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to take a look at my Little Big Snake Adventure series. In those videos you will see me utilizing many of the methods discussed in this video. See you next time.